You know, the brain is probably one of the most elegant organs in our body, probably the most complex, and it certainly uses more of our genes to do all of its very intricate activities. Reverse engineering the brain is actually a brilliant challenge because we're using Mother Nat Nature's blueprint to understand exactly how this complex entity called the human brain works, how it functions, uh, how it functions in health, how it functions in illness. There are some very practical issues that are associated with reverse engineering the brain and that perhaps we can come up with ways to deal with some of the difficult health issues, whether it's Alzheimer's or whether it's certain men mental illnesses, uh, understanding the biochemical and electrical pathways that sometimes go awry uh, in a whole range of, of illnesses uh, as a template for building better drugs. But it also has a very practical application in terms of taking us to the whole next new level of computers. And I think in reverse engineering the brain, we are going to find some pretty important clues and, and, um, and patterns that will probably have relevance to creating an artificial intelligence that perhaps could be used in a very positive and constructive way 